Hi guys, my name is Karol. Welcome to Ads Courses, a YouTube channel where I give you the best digital marketing and web analytics tips and tricks. Today you're going to learn how to create clean, advanced and valuable Google Data Studio reports. I'm going to cover the most common data sources available in GDS and show you how to create a report using Google Analytics data. You can also download a template of this report uh, if you don't want to create it on your own, just watch the whole video. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and follow it back with a like. Okay, so hold on to your hats and let's start. Okay, so after you log into your Data Studio account, you can create a new report over here. And this is a blank report. You can find sample data sources over here and you can create your own data source. And there are a lot of data sources available in here. Some of them are from Google. You can find Google Ads, Google Analytics, you can find the uh, Google Cloud Storage, Search Console, YouTube Analytics, uh, BigQuery, and others. And here we have the partner connectors. So if you want to create a report from Facebook Ads, for example, you can find connectors over here. Some of them are paid, of course, some of them not. And there are a lot of them. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll go with Google Analytics. So let's select it. And we are going to work with the demo account merchandise uh, Google Analytics account. So let's just select this over here. And let's change the name of our report. And here you can click to connect. And here you can find all the metrics and data that will be imported from Google Analytics into your Google Data Studio account. So just click add to report, confirm. And now you can create your report. Here you have the main menu. Uh, you can create a new page. Over here you can add another one. And here you have an option to create a date range, filter, a filter, and you can add uh, text, images, and shapes, etc. And in this menu you can change the resolution of your report. So let's go with the landscape mode. And you can change the resolution over here. And you can change the theme of your report, change the colors, etc. I won't do this now. Here you can switch from uh, the edit mode, which we are right now. And you can switch to view mode, just to view your report. Okay, so first of all, you may want to add your logo to the report. So let's do this now. Wait for it to load. And you can scale it over here okay and you can add a title to your page so this page will contain the basic data from google analytics and from all the sources okay let's style this a little bit let's change the font size okay and now let's just add the date range filter over here and let's style it a little bit let's change the color let's change the font color to white and let's add a border with two pixels and you can add a border shadow over here okay so it looks good let's just leave it leave it like that and you can uh, define the default range for this page over here. And if you click, right click, uh, whatever on the report, you can change the report settings or the current page settings. So let's see the report settings. And here you can select the data source. So let's select our demo report source that we just created before. And you can change the default date range over here. We will go with the auto. So it will use this uh, this filter okay so now we want to add some scorecards to this report you can find them in here and here you can see the settings of the scorecard you can change the metric well let's select the sessions and let's select the comparison date to last year previous year okay and you can style this scorecard over here so let's change the color again 
and the color of the text and this red text is not visible right now so let's go with the this one and if it's up let's change it to white okay and you can scale this just like that and it looks good okay now if you want to create another scorecard and uh, that is similar to this one you don't need to actually create another one from scratch you can just select this one Control c and Control v you, you may copy this scorecard and just change the metric let's select the bounce rate okay so now i will add more metrics to this report okay so i just copied the scorecards to look just like that you can actually select your own metrics if you like and of course you can align them as you wish so let's just clear this up a little bit and now you can actually add a text at the bottom if you like to actually comment the these metrics and changes from the previous year so you can add this over here for example and write something down change of course the font size and style and you could split this up with this something like that and change the color okay it looks good so here we have our basic data compared to the previous year and from all the sources so you may actually want to add a possibility to filter this data so let's just add the filter and let's change it to source medium so that you or your client will be able to actually filter this data and see how the source or medium was performing uh, in this period of time and I will style it a little bit okay let's change the font cool. so let's just move this around okay so our first page complete so you have the possibility to filter the source medium over here but let's say you're pay-per-click agency and you want to be able to see the uh, only the Google Ads performance without the need to actually use the filter so you may actually duplicate this page over here so you don't have to you know create everything from scratch you can actually name these pages over here so let's do this okay now we will add the filter to actually include only the Google Ads in this page so let's do this now and you can do it by right clicking on the page and current page settings and here you can add a filter let's give it a name and it will include only the source medium which equals to Google CPC okay and save okay so now it's only Google Ads in here so let's just change this filter because it doesn't make any sense sense now let's change it to campaign so that you will be able to actually filter this page for a certain campaign and let's go to the view mode to actually see how it all works you can change the date range in here right and you can change the campaign select only one campaign for example or select several campaigns only and all this data will change so now let's create another page which will contain the campaign data in a table so we could just create a new page but from here uh, but let's say we just want to dupli duplicate this one we will just get rid of some data like this over here and we will also delete this filter and let's change the name okay so now let's add let's also delete this and that 
and let's add a table from here you have three tables a table a table with bars and table with heat map so let's select this one for example okay it may look funny at the beginning so now i will change the metrics over here like clicks so now I'll add more metrics to this table and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I just added more columns to this table and let's change the dimension from medium to campaign. So let's say that we want to change the date range in this page only. So we can do that here and you can change it from auto to custom and you can select like, let's go with the 2018 from January so let's say I want to change the date range this page only so you can click on this table and you can change it over here from auto to custom and you can change it the date so let's select the 2018 and from the January for example okay so now we have it great you can change the scale of this table. I think it's okay now. You could add some text at the bottom if you want to add some comments. And now let's say we want to add another page which will include the keywords data. So let's just duplicate this page. Let's change the name at first. Okay. Okay, so let's just change the dimension from campaign to a keyword. And as you can see, this page uh, uses the page filter, a CPC filter that we created before. And if you don't want this, you can unselect this inherit filters and it won't use this filter. Great. So let's just change this title over here. And if you go to the view mode, you could see that this table is also interactive. You can see more data over here. You can scroll down, you can change the page and see even more data, so it's fully interactive. Okay, so let's add another page where we will use the charts from here. So let's just duplicate this page. Or maybe let's duplicate, duplicate this, the first page with all traffic. Let's just change the name of the keyword page let's just move it in here and this is our new page let's give it a name so we will show the sales in time and on this page so let's get rid of this data and also this okay here we will leave the source media filter and date range filter, of course. Let's change the headline. Okay, and now let's add the chart. We will go with this sparkline chart. Okay, so let's make it bigger because we want to change the date range on this page. Let's go with the 2018 and from January and let's go to the end of March. Okay. Okay, so we want to change the metric on this page and let's go with the transactions and revenue. Okay, and let's add another metric revenue. Okay, and we want to change the time dimension from date to a week, for example. Okay, so as you can see, you can't see a clear data right now. So let's just change the style of this chart and let's change this to, to access right. So now you can see it more clearly now. You can't see this data clearly because you can see a huge drop in data in here. If you would, we would change the date range to something like Okay, so I changed the date just to see the data clearly and let's just style it a little bit. You can do it in here, you can add uh, points to this report. 
you may want to add uh, labels but it won't be you know visible right now so don't do it and you can add the show access option over here okay we will leave it like that just copy this chart and let's add another one at the bottom and let's change the metric to clicks or sessions okay and you can change the color of the line over here okay okay so let's add uh, the last page to this report and here we want to show the device uh, breakdown and the location information so let's name it okay so let's delete these charts and now we want to add a pie chart which you can find here and let's show the device category information in this chart so let's change the dimension to device category let's copy it okay so this chart will show the transactions split to the device category and this will show the sessions okay so you may want to add uh, titles in here just so you know what the data is about so I will do it now okay so now let's add uh, another chart let's select this one and let's change this to transactions so that you will see the transactions in time on a specific device and let's change this filter to be able to do this from page view from sorry source medium let's go to the device category so this chart over here will change you interact with this filter and just to show you let's uh, add another uh, chart and let's use the geographic map just so you will know how to use this and let's make it a little bit bigger okay so first of all well, let's change the uh, dimension to city for example and now let's change the zoom area to let's go with the United States so it's okay so you won't be able to actually uh, select the zoom area uh, from a selected country until you change the dimension to for example a city or region so remember to do this and okay i think it's quite good let's change the color maybe to green and if we go to the view option you could actually see that it's all interactive so you could see the page views from a certain city you can interact with this and you can also interact with other elements of the report and change the device using the filter okay so we've just created a gds dashboard that you can use as a report for your clients if you want to use my template without creating it just write me an email at contacts at courses.com and i will send it to you for free Okay, so thanks for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and see you in the next episode, bye!